at last weekend's video. Yes. Um, I recorded two hours worth of stuff. It will not be that long, but hopefully by the time this is up, that one makes it up too. Um, I got home and I had Happy Mail, and I the front is so cute. Um, it said, time for a smile, Happy Mail. Uh, let me cover up both of our addresses. It has little kitty cats and stuff all over it. I'm so excited. Uh, it's from Adele, and um, the front says, sweets, sewing bit, fabric, and thread. So I don't know what, I don't know what else she sent, but I'm excited. Oh, fun. I'm trying to get it all out because she taped this up so well um, that I couldn't get, I don't, I couldn't get it open. I think the way it's meant to be open, but I got it open nonetheless. Okay, let's see. So she sent me some more fabric because um, I started that panda um, on, she had sent me 28 count Lugana um, with the panda pattern last time. So this time she sent me 28 count white Jobelin, thought you might be able to dye this into something fun. Um, it's a pretty good size. I could do a really nice... Ooh, I could do it's double this it's double this um, ooh, shedding on me I've never stitched on Jobelin so that's exciting um, I think she has been excited that I was so excited to stitch on something other than Ada um, let's see I've got a little card oh my gosh they have Sea cats on them. Cat mermaids. This looks like a long letter. I might not be able to read this all on here. Oh my gosh. Even the paper has them. Oh, yeah. I cannot. I just, I can't read this all the way. Um, it says, I know September is a really tough month for you, so I thought I would send you some stitchy love to brighten your day, at least for a little while. Um, okay, so an explanation of the package. Chocolate, she said, will brighten even the darkest of days. Um, it's a Cadbury, which I love Cadbury, and it's dairy milk, but I'm in Texas, and we currently have a cool front between 70 and 80 degrees. Um, so I'm going to have to put this in the freezer and enjoy it later because it's completely squished and melted. But I'm excited for that. That's going in the freezer right now. Um, uh, she said their chocolate is quite different than American. So I don't know. I've had Cadbury before. Like we have Cadbury eggs and stuff like this. But I've never had a Cadbury chocolate bar. So I don't know if it's different from what we have. And then this is a Scottish coconut macaroon bar. Um, which I... I don't, is it ma is this macaroon? Okay, so we have what's a macaroon cookie, which is a coconut cookie that's covered in chocolate. And then there's the French macaroons, which is the little cookies with the cream inside. So this is something different. So I'm excited. I guess this is just, this might be kind of like our chocolate dipped macaroon, but in like a bar kind of thing, but without chocolate. I don't know, I'm excited. I am excited for that. I do like coconut. Um, a couple of flosses just because they're pretty. And she sent me Weeks Dye Works, Berry Splash, and Angel Hair. I do not have either of these. So I'm really excited to try those out. Let's see. Pace of 28 Count White Jobelin to dye. And to have more even weave practice because she knows that I'm like really excited about that. And um, I want to practice more. Um, and then she knows how much I love Emma Congdon. And this is a little Emma Congdon hoop kit, which is really cute. Like it actually comes with like a really nice hoop and um, the pattern. 
That is so adorable. I'm very excited for that. Let's see. <laughs> so this is an, another Soda Stitch chart that she recently finished. So she sent me another um, mini Soda Stitch chart. But it's a four in one. So you get, you get the little chart. And then you can put, I guess like your, I don't know if that's for like phone numbers or what. But you also get these other little mini ones. That, that one says sweet room and then I don't know what that one says. I guess it says sweet room but in Korean. So that's really fun. And then she found a panda chart. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. And I really want to, oh my gosh, maybe I can do the panda on the Jobelin. Because apparently I'm all about pandas on 28 count not Ada fabrics. So it's a panda flying a kite with a little puppy, but I could totally leave the little puppy off and just do the little flowers around the little panda. Let's see. Oh my God. Oh, oop. And there's another tiny pattern that I'm gonna have to send to somebody else whenever I'm done, for sure. Um, yeah. Okay, so there's the full pattern. I would totally just leave the little puppy out because he's cute, but I'm all about the pandas. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. Opening up this package took way longer than I thought that it would, but I'm just so excited about everything. I really want to taste this macaroon right now because <coughs> tonight... Um, I'm about to clean my house some... A little bit at least like in the living room and the kitchen because our friend Caitlin is in town for um, like tonight through tomorrow um, she might be leaving Sunday morning but anyways she was coming into town and so we're going to dinner and because I'm the one with a house um, and she'll be in a hotel and everybody else has like small one bedroom apartments. Um, she asked if after dinner they could all come over to watch a movie. So, um, we're going to dinner, but not until 8 p.m. It's 5 right now. And I didn't really eat a lunch. I ate kind of a big breakfast, but I didn't really eat lunch. This is the inside of it. It broke in half. Oh my god. That's very different. The inside tastes like marzipan. And then the outside tastes like um, a vanilla snowball. Um, if you're in America, you might know what a snowball is. It's like a cake with like that layer of like sugary coconut on the outside. That's what the outside of it tastes like. It doesn't taste like the cake part. But the inside tastes like marzipan. This is good. This is like really good. Anyways. I'm like really hungry. This was perfect. To eat the other half or not eat the other half. It is really sweet. It is really good. I don't know if it's supposed to be as soft as it is. But that could also be that um, it got a little melty, possibly. Welcome to Texas. I love trying like sweets and like chocolates and stuff from other places, but it is hard to receive them here, not in the winter because, yeah, I'm going to have to finish eating this. It is hard to receive them not in the winter because it is so hot here. And they just melt. They just melt. Almost instantaneously. Um, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. I think if I do that panda on here, I would probably half this. Do half of it blue. 
so I can put that panda on it, flying his little kite. That would be really fun. And then I don't know what I would dye the other half. I've also never dyed anything other than Ada. And I know that the colors turn out different. So that would be really exciting to see. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder if I can go on Amazon and buy these cookies. I really need to find these online. Okay, Adele, it was packaged. What's the brand? Because I'm about to go online and try and find these. That was so good, guys. If you ever receive a package from Adele, hope that's in there. Hope it's in there. And, um... I'm working on something fun for to send to Adele next month. So, um, anyways, she already knows. God, that was such a good cookie. Okay, so I need to do some cleaning <laughs> in my kitchen, and um, I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you so much, Adele. Um, I'll definitely be sharing with you how I dye this fabric. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get cleaning. My friend Alexis is coming over before dinner while I'm cleaning because she may or may not go with us to dinner. Oh, my tomatoes went bad. Um, she may or may not go with us to dinner. Um, but then she's probably coming back over after. I don't know. I don't know what the plan is. All I know is people are coming over here. And it's not a horrible mess. But it's not great either. So I'm going to clean. And I'll catch up with y'all in a little while. Hey guys, so my friends left really late last night, like 12, 30, 1 o'clock. But I did finish baby goods. Um, so I took this panda and the bottom half of this one and I put a cat face on, on this one, not this one, on this one. So I finished it. So here it is. It's so freaking cute. I feel like this looks kind of more like a little puppy, but I know that it's a cat. But look how freaking cute this is. So Adele sent me that pattern because she did the little panda and I was like, oh my God, where do I find that pattern? So she sent it to me, I can't remember when, May? May, June, I don't remember, maybe April, sometime this year, and she sent me this 28 count um, crystal Lugana that was a Fabrics by LJ, um, Fabric of the Month, February 2016, <coughs> a little piece of it because I had never stitched on anything other than Ada, and so I did it on that, and so it's so cute, I love it so so much and we all saw in my package I have more fabric to dye now and I have another pa uh, panda that she sent me to stitch so I'm really excited I think I'm just gonna put it in a hoop with um, that really pretty fabric behind it um, like on the back side and maybe like peeking out a little bit so I might might do the fabric wrong side out on the back so that way I can leave like a fringe around the edges that's right side if that makes sense. Um, anyways, I just loaded up my car with some donations for Charity Bee, but I have our rummage sale today and I'm working one of the table, I'm working the guild's table. So I'm gonna go run and get breakfast and then go to that because it starts at 10 and I wanna get there around like 9.30. It's now 9.15. 
So I'm going to go run to Starbucks because I still have massive amounts of money on a Starbucks card from Christmas. So I'm going to go get a drink and I love the bacon Gouda sandwich. That's what I'm going to get. I'm so excited. Um, but anyway, so I'll take some footage there. But uh, that's what I'm going to be doing from 10 to 2. And then whenever I get home later, I'll probably go through some more photos while watching some TV. Um, because I really want to make another huge dent in these photos this weekend. Because I didn't do any more since last weekend. So I still have the three bins there to go through. That I still didn't I didn't finish the tree on my Barbara Ann's design so I may finish that really fast because I don't have much left on that um, and then I'm gonna go to sewing cats because I haven't picked that up in like two months and working on the sew to stitch pattern really made me want to work on sewing cats so tonight I'll work on that quick time out one of my friends from high school has a Facebook um, business called LEO's Bows and I'll link her down below because she's really cool but she does um, vinyl she used to do like kids headbands and things like that but she also is from Pearland she actually still lives there and they came really close to flooding people in their neighborhood flooded just like my dad's did um, but she got really lucky but she started a fundraiser also to go to the JJ Watt Foundation and so she did these really cool um, car vinyls for your car so I got um, a Texas strong and the heart is over the Houston area because that's the area that we're from so I got a blue one and a red one um, I got two because I want to put one on my truck now and then I got the blue one for my new car whenever I get it because this is just too cute like I have to have one whenever I get my new car night and I've gone through one and a half more boxes of photos so that's exciting and I stitched a little bit more I still have a ton of white to do in the embroidery hoop that white is never ending um, but I was able to finish outlining and he has a butthole I wanted to do it y'all voted for me to do it so he got one um but I finished enough white to be able to finish all of the black outlining on this shelf and I just remembered or I didn't just remember it but today I remembered that I had started the above shelf and that's gonna bother me if I do the bottom shelf before the above shelf since I started it because that's just the way my mind works so um goal tomorrow is going to be to finish this white in here and to start the next shelf up but I'm really tired I've slept like crap the whole week so I'm gonna go try and sleep we'll see how well that works out yeah hey guys oh I woke up at 7.30, pissed off <coughs> that once again, I could not sleep in if my life depended on it. So I laid there and I watched some TV. Um, I lay there and I watched some TV. I finished a show that I started 
last night. So now these two love hanging out with me while I do laundry. Hey. <laughs> Buddies. Hi. Morning. Hey, buddy. Okay, guys. So I am. Oh my gosh, I can't turn my light off. Ooh, that got a little dark a little fast. Me, very quickly run through my house. So I have a lunch date, I guess. Um, I'm uploading a video, so I need to put a countdown timer <coughs> on really quick so that way my YouTube does not time out because that happens to me all the time and that's why like it takes me like decades to get videos posted pretty much um anyways I kind of have like a lunch date thing I've been like rescheduling with this guy a lot actually and um it is what it is so um I'm going to lunch we're gonna go to Chili's I think pretty sure and I'm supposed to be there in 10 minutes, so he just texted me that he's going to be 10 minutes late, so I have a few minutes. Why did you just do that? You're stupid. Stop. The computer. It hates me. I'm working on some stuff for the channel, and I kitted up Plague Doctor because I'm a part of that, um, Sal, and... Trying to think what else did I do cleaned up the bathroom some I don't know I've just I haven't I haven't even been stitching I've just been I went through a ton of photos I went through the rest of my three photo albums and it was easily like 2,000 photos easily so um, went through those maybe kept about a hundred which is really good and I think some of them I kept a few of them because I couldn't remember like I remembered seeing them but I couldn't remember if I kept them or if they're the same photo so um, I probably pulled a couple of duplicates which really sucks but whenever I go to like scan them I'll find that but um but anyways so I'm about to head to this lunch thing I'll let y'all know how it goes um, and then we'll see Whenever I get home, I really want to do some more cleaning and I may try to get some of that painting done this afternoon. That's probably what will happen. I also need to work out some sketches for this side job that I'm doing. Um, they really liked my ideas. So now I have to like sketch them out and create flow charts um, on the computer because that's how I get paid. So, I'm going to do at least one of them, um, sketch it out, start sketching it out this weekend so that way I can get that designed and stuff and emailed to him this week. That's my goal. So, because um, it would be nice to have that money, quite honestly. Um, also, this is going to be the last week to pre-order shirts for the Dyed Panda for Harvey. Um, I'm going to stop taking orders and accepting money next Sunday the 17th I believe I think so my friends getting married on the 16th yes the 17th um, Sunday the 17th so that's how much time you have to um, if you need to pay me pay me and if you want to order to order um, let's see what else I don't know I'll update like y'all later bye since I already went through a ton of photos today, um, I'm not going to do any more today um, or this weekend. So I just have about like one and a half bins left, um, which is so nice. And there's still probably about 20% of the 
bin that I've given myself for pictures left. So it definitely, by the end of it, will be filled to the top. And um, I may keep one of the really tiny bins for any little bit of um, overflow, but I'm okay with having some overflow um, because I know that after I scan them, I'm throwing out most of them because of just the condition that they're in, like I've said before. And um, also because I'm dealing with, actually, some of the photos that I did last night were my great grandmothers. So I'm actually dealing with four generations of, of photos here. So having one pretty decent size bin and a little tiny bit for overflow compared to what it was, I think will be great. But if I keep doing um, like a box or half a box a night, um, I'll be done with this category by next weekend. So that'll be really awesome. And then I'll definitely take a break before starting to scan um, just because I'm not gonna wanna deal with the photos for a little while, but that's okay. So I'm pretty much Still where I was. I've gotten a little bit done. Filled in right here. But I still have all this left. <sighs> but I got some phone calls and I didn't stitch while I was on the phone. So, um, and I've actually had the show paused and I just can't keep my eyes open any longer to finish the show or to finish stitching. So um, I'm calling it a night and I'm calling it a weekend. And thanks so much, guys. I will see y'all next time.